Hi, this is Conrad Blickenstorff. I'm the editor of RuggedPCReview.com and uh, today I want to show you a very interesting machine. It uh, is a uh, rugged handheld by Juniper Systems. They call it um, the Archer Field PC and it is a Windows C device. It weighs about a pound. As you can see, it has um, elastomer uh, padding around it so that it is able to uh, take some punishment in the field. Um, this is actually a machine that has one of the most impressive environmental um, ratings that we've come across. It's sealed to IP67 standards. Uh, IP stands for ingress protection. The 6 uh, means that it is completely sealed against dust. The 7 in the IP67 means that it is also safe to put this machine not only in the rain but it can survive underwater. In this particular case um, Juniper System rates the machine for, as uh, capable of handling about 3 feet of water for 30 minutes. Uh, obviously we always uh, are interested in seeing if these claims hold up in re the real world and we did some testing from a technological point of view, uh, this machine is running Windows CE 5.0. It has a 520 megahertz uh, Marvell PXA270 processor. Uh, you can get up to a half a gigabyte of flash ROM in it. It has a three and a half inch display, uh, 240 by 320 pixel standard resolution. Um, it is expandable via a couple of uh, slots that are under this cap here. One of them is a uh, CF card slot and an SD card slot. Uh, Juniper Systems offers some uh, extended caps so that you can also put in larger expansion cards. So uh, with that I want to show you um, uh, what's, what this machine is made of and why it is so tough. The secret to the Archer's ruggedness is its unique design. You see, um, this orange cladding here is really just an elastomer um, protection, uh, which is uh, outside of a uh, magnesium uh, inner core. Now let me show you how this works. Take a screwdriver, there's two screws, and uh, we open these. There's one. And there's the other. This comes right off. And you can see here are the unit's uh, expansion slots. And even though this is really open to the inside, it is sealed here. So no water can get in. Now we take off uh, the second part of the protection. There's four little screws here. One. And one and two more okay and now this comes right off so as you can see this is a very tough magnesium core. Now the battery is also interesting. It's here, you open this, the battery is sitting here, water can get in here, but there's a seal around the contacts. So should this machine get on the water, it will not get damaged because water does not get onto the contact. The block, uh, most of the time when you have a heavily sealed unit, um, there are no uh, there's not a lot of inter interface connections and no ports. Now with this machine you can see you have a USB host, a USB client, and a standard serial port and the power jack here. That's because this is a plastic block. Water can get in here, but it doesn't get into the unit itself. In addition, those connectors here are protected with rubber plugs. So this is how it all works. This machine is practically invulnerable. Well, here we're out by the pool now, 
and I'm gonna give the archer a workout. I'll turn it on. It's running. Unfortunately, there's some uh, reflection in the screen. You can't really see. And uh, okay, we'll get it wet a little bit. We can handle that. And we're gonna drop it into the water. Wow. See some bubbles coming out. Normally that would be a bad sign, but that is just because the archer is constructed in a way that um, lets some water get into the inside of the uh, protective molding, so uh, it's not hurting the machine. Letting it sit there in maybe a foot and a half of water. See if uh, it's alive. That now, unfortunately, we have the reflection from the sun again here, but I can tell you that it does work still. I'm actually operating the computer. You can see uh, some of the yeah. There is the start menu. The machine works just fine. Just for good measure, we throw it back in. How many pocket PCs can survive that? One more time. Now let's see if it still runs. And once again the reflections, but yes. The start menu is still there. through some applications, no problem whatsoever. You can see the archer is still wet. We just uh, threw it in the pool a few times. Let's see if the movie still works here. Yeah, no problem at all. Menus. No problem at all. This machine is totally waterproof. Now we're going to do a drop test. I'm going to put the machine up on that um, on those blocks and shove it off. And we're going to do it again. Three, four feet, twice, tumbling around. Is it still working? Not only is it still working, there's not a scratch, not a dent, nothing. Going through the programs. One tough machine.